Hello again. I want to talk about something that's usually neglected in algebra. Uh, in fact, when I was uh, taking my math classes, I never actually even saw it. Well, maybe I did, maybe like one time, but not really, um, until I got to my calculus sequence, was something called step functions, which is noted as f of x equals, and then you got like two brackets in front of an x, and then you can put like a 2x and a 2x minus 1, but everything is in these uh, special little brackets. Uh, let me give you a little bit of introduction, though, so it helps. f of x just means y x just means x. So this actually is y. These are the y terms and this, these are the x terms. But a step function is actually pretty interesting. It's, it's very different in comparison to uh, any type of function that you've done before. And it actually looks like a set of stairs, except you don't connect the set of stairs. Uh, that's why they call it a step function. So I have my little graph here and uh, what it's saying is this. For everything in x that's less than or equal, uh, if x is greater than or equal to negative 3, pardon me, so I'm at negative 3, and it's uh, less than negative 2, here's what my y value is. So from negative 3, and that includes its closed circle, this one's open circle, all the way to negative 2, my value for y is going to be negative 3, so my y value is going to be at negative 3. Now, from negative 2 closed circle to negative 1 open circle, my y value is going to be negative 2. So my y is here, but now my x is here. And it's open circle. And that's basically what you're doing. You're like kind of teeter-tottering on steps. From negative 1 closed circle to 0 open circle, it's at negative 1 for my y value. So it goes negative 1 to 0, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you get the pattern now, it's like, oh, okay. And you can keep going. And that's why it's called step function, because basically what you're doing is taking a set of steps. It's not actually continuous, and you can't actually find uh, the limit of a step function, but I haven't actually really talked about limits at this point. But it's very interesting. That's actually, I think, why they started incorporating it in uh, the beginning of calculus, because it shows you the difference. Although when I first saw this, I, I, I didn't know what a step function was. I never you know, took the time to learn it, and then all of a sudden I got it, and it was okay. But it was a little intimidating for me to do it first, so... Step function. Yeah, that's a special type of function. You don't usually see it, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. I want to talk about a piecewise function afterwards, which is also something that you use when you're talking about limits and calculus. But it's good to at least see what a piecewise function is before you even, you know, try limits. Because if you don't know what that kind of function is, then you're just totally lost. Um, other than that, that's it for right now. Have a good day.